Awari Hotel and we're here to experience a wedding in Pakistan. So we're in a, a car that we've hired for the day with a driver and we're on our way to MM Alam Road where apparently you can buy really nice outfits and we've got a wonderful tour guide with us called Mariam. <laughs> So our first stop is Fashion Pakistan Lounge. Let's go inside. So what did you get? A beautiful outfit with the men. Okay, but I hear we weren't allowed to film inside, were we? We weren't allowed. They thought we were going to rip off their design. So uh, sadly, we weren't allowed to film. But this was amazing. So we had to get it. So on our next shop, this is called Behzi. Yeah, so I found this outfit, but it's slightly long. Let's see if the tailor can do something about it. Now we're about to enter the limelight. We really pop in the store and I'm waiting for my turn in the changing room. Okay, I found this one and I love it and I'm gonna get it. But I need some shoes. Where are my shoes? Shoes! Success! <laughs> Just come out of Ruban, uh, the Pakistani designer. We heard of her first in London and we've had some customised outfits done. Um, let's see how the press is flowing. We're in Pace, a shopping centre in Lahore, and we're looking for some costume jewellery. Let's go with those. Uh, I'm in the Tariq Amin hair salon. Apparently, he's the best hairstylist in the whole of Pakistan. Oh, Pakistan is the top hairdresser. Over the course of three days, we were quite fortunate to be staying at the Avari, where within its complex, the Tariq Amin salon happened to be based. This ensured that Shigufta was able to spend one and a half to two hours every day prior to the various photo shoots that we attended with the bride and groom to capture and ensure that she looked the best for each one. She ended up with three different looks, one for each day, each different to the other. All in all, quite delightful. I'm wearing this because I've got rollies in my hair and this is what you're for, it's okay? I'm not ready yet. You may just come here. Studio Afsal in Lahore was quite an exciting place to be. As well as taking photographs of the bride and groom in various settings within their building, on the outside they had a number of setups for anyone to view. And there we were, of course, filming them, filming us, filming them. Best of all, they arranged for the bride and groom to visit a gallery where the groom's mother has painting on display. All in all, what a wonderful experience. Welcome to the media of Zohair and Hira. Back at our hotel, we were blessed with a wonderful selection of options, including fantastic local cuisines for breakfast every single day. But if fine dining was something more akin to what you looked for, then there's no shortage of options here at the Avari, from traditional Indian cuisine to Chinese and even the most delicious Japanese. I'm executive chef in Avari Hotel Lahore. कुछ हमने नई अभी डिशेस शुरू की हैं मैंगो फेस्ट फीस्ट के अवाले से। As chef was explaining, for the mango festival, they created a number of unique dishes, including a selection of delicious salads, all of which, of course, we had to try, along with every single mocktail they had on the menu. We're just about to tuck in to these amazing drinks, but I wonder where these have come from. So. 
Uh, we are in Uncle Farid's car and we're headed towards the mango orchards. So we're on a 200 acre mango plantation um, which initially had 55 varieties of mangoes. Um, these have been shortlisted to five or six commercially attractive varieties. Here's one of them and this is the late Jonsa. Ah. Smells amazing. Driving through the mango orchard, there was no greater sound than that of overhanging mangoes going thud on the roof of the car. SP stands for Samare Best. Samare the fruit of heavens. Oh, smack bang in the middle of a mango orchard, uh, and I'm surrounded by mangoes on a heavy uh, bearing mango tree. So this is really interesting. There's two different varieties of mango on one tree here. This is the rootstock, that is the budwood and it's been grafted onto the rootstock. So um, this is one of the varieties, it's called Shane Khoda, God's Glory, and the other variety is up there. Of course, this would not be an implausible blog video unless we paused for a photo shoot despite the 40 degrees Celsius temperature. Yes, it was hot, but I confess that you haven't really lived unless you sat on a charpai bench in the middle of an orchard cradling mangoes. We were also lucky enough to be invited into Farid's home where he fed us freshly picked mangoes. Yummy! Uh, hope you enjoyed the video of the wedding and the mangoes. Uh, and we welcome you to come and enjoy it for yourself in Pakistan. So we're standing outside the packing house and we're about to explore. Yeah, these are drying beds right. or destemming beds you can call okay. it. Okay. You see, we place it because this uh, cell sap is coming up. This is just to speed up the thing. Ah. Now this has about uh, you know six to seven thousand liters of water. Wow. And it's heated up, heated up to forty-eight degrees centigrade. That's the European protocol that we have to abide by. Okay. okay. And uh, this. You know, this, here's, this is the mesh and the water comes. Mm -hmm. The mango goes underneath. Mm -hmm. It kills fruit fly. Mm -hmm. Or let me tell you this way, it incapacitates fruit fly. Right. The lava, the eggs, etc, etc. Mm -hmm. you know. mm -hmm. So normally it does in 20 minutes, but we have been asked to do it in 60 minutes. That's the accepted okay. protocol. Okay. Countries would, wouldn't like to feed its people chemicals. Yeah, exactly. yes. So. This kills or incapacitates, you know, fruit fly. Yeah. And other than that, we must seek analysis, scientific analysis or a chemical analysis of our fruit. Does it contain, you know, um, levels of pesticides or chemicals which is harmful to the people? Okay. So it has to be under that. And that nose is controlled by dip, mm -hmm. hot water, dip. Also, uh, fruit fly is controlled by dip. But stem and rot, you know, around the button mm -hmm. starts developing or it starts to rot. So that is controlled by, by fungicide. fungicide. So this, this is a fungicide applicator. As we later discovered in meetings with representatives from the Pakistani government, many of these processes were actually put into place with the support of Oz Aid. That's aid from Australia. Thank you guys down under for these lovely, delicious mangoes.